Nina Chanel Air Jordan 3. Let's just start with the box because these things already are off to a great start. So typically when it comes to Air Jordan 3s, you have your classic all black lid with the red Jumpman and your elephant print around it. But this time you have a hinge lid with the all orange textured box. And typically you guys know I don't like orange, but this one right here looks pretty good. So I'm not sure if you can hear or not, but there's a nice texture all throughout the lid and the side panels of the box. Also forgot to mention on the current day retros, when it's an alternate colorway, they typically do boxes like this where it's split and then you have the color matching the shoe as you can see right here. Now when it comes to the lid, you have your 2-3 right here in the branding and this is similar to Nina Chanel's art which we'll talk about in a second. And then you have your classic Air Jordan Jumpman but this has a major twist. They switched the logo. So not only is the 2-3 a different font like we traditionally see, the actual Jumpman man has been altered as well and this is something that I don't think has ever been done before when it comes to collaborations so I don't know which strings they had to pull or who they had to convince but honestly I'm glad they gave them the a-ok -okay for this design element now when it comes to the other parts of the box as you can see on the lid right here you have a black strip and then on the front of the box right here you actually have your standard Air Jordan Jumpman in a white right there on the top of the lid and then you're gonna have these white and black stripes going throughout with some X marks right here on the side and then more white and black stripes and the same thing here on the side of the box. And this is something that's again, more reminiscent to the style of art that she creates. Now looking at the size tag, it reads Women's Air Jordan 3 Retro OGSP, Bicoastal Black Malachite, size 14 and a half, just for me. And retail on these was 225 bucks. And when it came to the resale market immediately after the release, in my size was going for roughly around 450 bucks. The prices dropped a little bit, but are still going for over retail. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show now let me open the lid right here you have more of that art installed onto the paper as well so you have the face the MVP the hearts the 23 the stripes the Jumpman logo the hands the MJ 1988 which was the year of the Jordan 3 I like how they added all these dope elements just to the paper as well now peeling that green paper back you have some additional white paper to separate the shoes and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe first impressions when I see this sneaker in hand I remember I talked about this in the monthly update with my dad and I wasn't sure how I was gonna see because sometimes the images do the shoe justice and sometimes they don't do it at all and you're like see it in person is better I think these are a little bit better in person than they are in images and when I see them on feet they look even better on foot now before we get into all the details and switch ups because this shoe honestly has a lot of crazy elements that we just don't see too often we got to talk about the history first Nina and Chanel Abney grew up just outside of Chicago and really embraced her art as she followed the footsteps and passion of art through her family members like her mother as well. She's now currently based in New York and crushing it when it comes to art exhibits and you guys remember the Meek Mill album? She did that artwork on the cover. So we saw her Air Jordan 2 collaboration with the high top and the low top release a few years ago and there was merch that went along with that as well and when it came to this merch shop in particular they did a great job on that as well. You had shorts and sweats and shirts and jackets and hoodies and so many different things that go along with the project and I had to mention that because typically we don't see that many you know clothing items going along with these collaborations at you know as wide of a drop and especially something that actually looks good so I wanted to say that and make sure that we mentioned it and talked about it and then ask you guys as well did you guys pick up anything besides the sneakers so now this is her second collaboration third sneaker with Jordan brand and it's kind of ironic because it's a Jordan 3 so let's go ahead and get into all the details looking at the outsole you have your classic Air Jordan 3 bottom you got more of that sail color throughout the outside you got your orange in the back and you got more of a lime green here on the ball of the foot and then your Nike branding here in the sale tech and you know what that means when you see the Nike branding on the bottom you got Nike Air on the back this Nike Air is way different we'll talk about that in a bit though now going up to the midsole and the rubber toe around the front end you're gonna have everything covered in sale with the sale stitch typically you have more of a two-tone midsole on the Jordan 3s but they just went all sale throughout with the matching sale air unit to go along with it now when it comes to the upper you kind of got a mixture of like three different materials we'll say so you got a leather a canvas and then a hairy suede so typically on the Air Jordan 3 you see that elephant print around the toe and on the back end and then on the top right here sometimes whether it's like a true blue three or something you might see that elephant print here so I like how they kind of kept that going cohesive and then also continue that around the collar on the back end of the heel another thing that I noticed when it comes to this shoe you have more of a similar cut to that 1988 style and this is something that we've been traditionally seeing over the past few years when it comes to Air Jordan 3s so I like how they also stayed on brand with that and kept the true shape like the OG even though the materials were switched up on 
on the upper. Now when it comes to the mud guard and the vamp, you're gonna have a different color green, but it's gonna be a canvas material all throughout both of those sections. And that's gonna be that same canvas going up on the tongue. And you're gonna have plastic eye stays when it comes to the bottom, middle, and top of the sneaker. Now I know they have small orange hits, and I think honestly, it kind of might have looked dope if they add a little bit of orange right here. Again, I don't like orange, but I like the little pops and the subtle hits on the shoe. Now these come standard with a pair of all sale rope laces and you have an additional pair of orange rope laces. I've seen them on foot with both styles and I think they look really good with both. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Now, when it comes to the tongue, again, like we talked about the Jumpman on the top of the lid, they did the same thing here. They altered the Jumpman on the tongue of the shoe. And this is something that we have never seen done before. So this right here is like a huge statement. Now on the back of the tongue, you're gonna have a different switch up. This is kind of more like the Air Jordan Wings logo, how it has that arch to it. It has Air Jordan on the branding on the left foot. And then on the right foot, you have an orange tab with Nina in white text. Now behind the tongue, you have a really nice sail leather and that's gonna match with the collar all around the inside as well. And I love leather collars. Let me know what you guys think down below. Would you prefer a fabric or a leather or a satin? I don't know. For me, I just think it feels really good on foot. Now, when it comes to the sock liner on this shoe, you're gonna have that checkerboard pattern in orange and white. You're gonna have a green circle with a black border, and then it has the same altered Jumpman here in black on the heel. Another thing to note with the insoles as well, if you look, it says Dream Cell. So this is not the best quality when it comes to the insoles, but it's a little bit better than the normal stuff. Either way, I think we could do better when it comes to a collaboration. Now going to the back tab, an element that I think is super dope. I think, honestly, I don't know if they've done this before. I think they just have done so many cool things. Like we have the deconstructed element on the tongue. We've seen that, you know, especially with Off-White, I understand where they're going. But switching up that logo on the Jumpman, huge thing right there. And then the materials and everything. Yes, we kind of seen that before on the, with the Patchwork 3s. Is it, was that the name? I'm trying to remember. Kind of that canvas, you know, material on the upper type thing, switching up stuff. So. I get it, but either way, there's a lot of originality in this as well. Now, typically on the back tab of the Jordan 3s, it's a plastic piece, but as you can see right here, you have a synthetic leather in all sail, but then the letters and the branding on here is all in a green chenille fabric, and it has the Nike Air branding there. So as you can see from these to the white cement 3s, definitely a lot of cool switch ups on this collaboration. And then something similar to Off-White, how we see that orange tab kind of around the swoosh area, they actually added it here on the side, and obviously it's not an Off-White collab, but Again, something that we're familiar to. And this Jumpman on here is actually like your standard Air Jordan Jumpman that we typically always get. So after looking at more details of this shoe, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I feel like I hear a lot of people that are still on the fence about it and they kind of need to see it in person. And I think this is definitely one of those sneakers that you do need to see. But when you see it on foot, again, like I said earlier in the video, it does look really good. Now, some people may say, hey, you know, it's not for me. I get that, I understand. So I want to hear you guys' responses down below in the comment section. Now, you guys know I always love to post a poll on my Instagram story as well to see what the people think, and I ask them a simple question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? This is what they said. 70% of the people chose fire and 30% of the people chose trash, and it's very interesting as well because I'm hearing a lot of people also say this is potentially sneaker of the year or at least top three or top five based off of the collaborations that have already come out and other general releases that have come out for old classics that have retroed, you name it, all the different things. So where do these rank in fire or trash? And then where do these rank for potential sneaker of the year conversation? Is it worth being in the top 10 or one of the best collaborations of the year? I think you can easily say that this shoe is worth a conversation based off of the story, the detail elements, the box, the packaging, the, the collaboration of the merch like we talked about earlier. I think there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle that can justify a good debate as to why this is one of the best shoes. Now we got plenty more year to come and you know it's always hot during the holiday season with all the crazy jobs. So we'll see what happens in December, but I just want to see what you guys think So let me know down below in the comment section And if you guys made it this far into the video and haven't hit that subscribe button yet Make sure you guys do and join the fam. I got plenty more sneakers to talk about and I can't wait to show you guys All right, I'll see you in the next one I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, it's definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Listen, my DNA, hey, Bobby, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. Listen, my DNA, the only choice I 